Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast, to discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Today, we will use a powerful tool for searching sequence databases for homologs of protein sequence and for making protein sequence alignments, HMER3, with Eugene. The Eugene version of HMER is aimed to provide a wider user audience with a high-performance HMER-compatible solution. The plugin with graphical user interface, as well as Eugene itself, is available for all Windows, Linux and Mac OS X users. The tools are available from Tools HMER 3 Tools Global Program Menu. To search for a homolux of a family represented by a multiple sequence alignment, we need to build a Profile Hidden Markov Model or a Profile HMM for the alignment. Let's open the Stockholm alignment as the input file for the build. Now activate Build Profile item. In the opened dialog box, we specify the output profile HMM file for the opened alignment. There is a set of available options. It is possible to select the construction strategy, relative and effective weighting method, and adjust value calibration. The last tab, Other, contains HMER3 random generator seed parameter which also can be specified if needed. When done with the options, we go back to the first tab and press Build. The profile HMM has been built and saved into the specified location. Now we can search for the homolux using the created profile. To do so, the sequence to search in must be opened in the project. Let's open this sequence. When the sequence is selected in the project or opened as a view, we can go to the Tools HMER3 Tools menu again and activate the Search HMM Signals Mine item. In the first tab of the opened dialog box, we specify the profile HMM file we've built to search with. We will search for homologically related domains of the opened sequence, which are called HMM signals. These signals are represented by annotations and will be stored at the specified annotations table, for instance, a new GeneBank file. Let's look through the available options. The Reporting Thresholds tab contains the filter options. We can search for the domains with a value less than the specified number, or for the domains with score greater than this specified number. Also, it is possible to search for the domains with score greater than the specified profile's cutoff's parameter value. We will filter the results by a value. The Acceleration tab allows us to accelerate the search if it's needed. When the options customizing is done, we go back to the Input and Output tab and press Run. The search is done and we can browse the found signals. The found annotations contain the HMM signals parameters values. Yet another operation that can be done with Eugene Hammer 3 plugin, besides building a profile HMM or searching HMM signals with a profile HMM, is searching a sequence against the sequence database. The tool is called PHMER. The sequence to search in must be selected in the project view or opened as a view. To invoke the tool, activate Tools, HMER3 Tools, P HMER Search menu item. In the first tab of the Open dialog box, we specify the query sequence file. We will search for homolux of this sequence within the opened sequence. To do so, HMER will automatically create a special profile for the specified sequence and then use it for the search. It is possible to specify the build options contained at the scoring system and value calibration tabs. The search options are filter options in the reporting thresholds tab and acceleration options. 
When adjusting is done, we go back to the Input and Output tab and press Search. As always, the found results are represented by annotations. We can browse the annotations and read the search results parameters values. That's how Khmer 3 works with Eugene. More detailed discussion of the options will be the topic for the future episodes. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.